call me friends. And this time, I am your tutor. You know what, guys? I am so excited to teach you this lesson, which is all about plotting and connecting your point in the partition plane. To start my lesson, let me first define to you what is a partition plane. A partition plane is composed of two lines. The vertical line and the horizontal line. The horizontal line is your x-axis and the vertical line is your y-axis. Did you know that the partition plane is named after the French mathematician René Descartes? And aside from that class, the partition plane is composed of four quadrants. The first quadrant, the signs are both positive. The second quadrant, the signs are negative and positive. While in the third quadrant, the signs are both negative. And lastly, the last quadrant, the signs are positive and negative. So, as you can see class, we have here a point, which is color blue. And this point is what we call origin, which is the point of intersection. And in order for us to plot a point, we need two things, your point and of course, the coordinate, or what we call the partition plane. And take note guys, the x-axis will tell you how the point moves. It's either to the left or right. If your point is positive, it means to say that you are going to move from the origin going to the right. But if your point is negative, that means to say your point would be going to the left. Same with the y-axis. If your y is positive, that means to say you will move going up. But if your y is negative, you will move going down. So, for you to be able to understand my lesson very well, I prepare on a list of an ordered pair. So, first we have 2 and 3. They are both positive. The second one we have 2 and negative 3. And the third one is negative 4 and 3. And lastly we have negative 4 and negative 3. So they are both negative. So now we are going to plot this ordered pair. Remember guys, if you are going to plot an ordered pair, you need to look for the x value followed by the y value. So from this example, the 2 is your x value and the 3 would be your y value. So since they are both positive, that means to say this ordered pair is located in the first quadrant. So from the origin, we are going to count 2. Going to the right. 1, 2. The location of your point class is here. The second one is your y value, which is 3. So from the origin, we are going to count 3 going up. So 1, 2, 3. So this would be the location of your y value. And this ordered pair is located here. So I will put a point. So there we have it, guys. We have a ordered pair. So this point is what we call positive 2 and positive 3. The next example of an ordered pair is positive 2 and negative 3. So that means to say your ordered pair is located in the fourth quadrant because as I was said a while ago, the fourth quadrant, the signs are positive and negative. So first, the x is 2. So from the origin, we are going to count 2. So 1, 2. So this would be the location of your x value. The second one is the negative 3, which is your y value. So from the origin, we are going to count 3 going down. So 1, 2, 3. So this would be the location of your y value. And the ordered pair would be located here at the fourth quadrant. So I will put a point again here. So this point is what we call 2 and negative 3. There you have it guys. We plot the second ordered pair which is 2 and negative 3. The third example 
negative 4 and positive 3. So that means to say this ordered pair is located in the second quadrant because your x is negative and your y is positive. So since x is negative, we are going to start counting from the origin going to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would be the location of your x value, negative 4. Since the your y value is 3, we are going to count from the origin going up. 1, 2, 3. So this would be the location of your y value. So this ordered pair is located here. So I will put another point to serve as your third ordered pair. So this point is what we called negative 4 and positive 3. So lastly, we have another set of an ordered pair. So this would be the last example. They are both negative, negative 4 and negative 3. Since they are both negative, this ordered pair would be located at the third quadrant. So since negative, since x is negative 4, we are going to count 4 going to the left. So from the origin, we are going to count 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would be the location of your x value. The second one is your y value, which is negative 3. So from the origin, we are going to count 3 going down. So 1, 2, 3. So this would be the location of your fourth ordered pair. So again, I will put another point to indicate your last ordered pair. So this point is named negative 4 and negative 3. So there we have it, guys. We already plot the four example of an ordered pair. So next, we are going to connect all of the points. And you know what, guys? I am excited to, to find out what would be the form of this different ordered pair. Now, I am going to connect the four points, of course, by the use of a marker and, of course, ruler. So now, guys, we are going to find out what would be the form of this four ordered pair. Okay, so what do you think, guys, would be the form of this four ordered pair? I think you are you are excited too to find out what would be the form of this four ordered pair. So just a few seconds, we will find out what would be the form of this. Okay, so there we have it, guys. We form a square. We all know that the side of a square are all congruent and it has a 90 degrees. So, so much for that, guys. I hope you learned a lot from me. Again, this is French of Osirot at your service. And I just want to say, math may not teach me how to add love or subtract hates, but it also give me hope that in every problem, there is always a solution. Bye.